What's up? I'm here in the park and today I want to bring you through on how you can train your full body and fully utilize the park to get a nice physique. First and foremost, I gotta do my thing. So the first exercise is let's focus on the chest first. It's pretty straightforward. It's a push-up. Gotta start with the easiest first. So to get started, an easier way to do a push-up is find something that can easily hold on to, such as this. So this can be done by everybody. You can take this as a warm-up, step backward, and just execute a push-up. Okay, this works your chest. And when you do this, remember, keep your back straight, keep a shoulder low, and execute a push-up. To bring up the challenge, you may want to lower down yourself. All right, probably you can find this. Take a break and move on to the next level after 60 seconds rest. Feet off the ground, grip wide apart, your chest up. All right, you want to start with an easier version first, 10 reps, and then this 10 reps, and another 10 reps of flat push up. Well, if you're fit enough, you can just stick to a flat push up by doing 30 repetitions. And next is you're going to train your back. The easier version to do a back in a park is. I grab a tower, what you need to do here is grab like this, make sure they are even, alright, grab them hard, take a step forward, alright, you can start from here, take a step forward, or two step, lean backward, and pull. Alright, once again keep your shoulder low, squeeze your back. This is a great exercise that trains your forearms also. Most park have this. You can utilize this. This is much more secure and uh, less effort for the grip. You can put more focus in your back. This is great. Anything too close, I think, will hit a lot of bicep, right? You don't want to go too wide either, right? Just go slightly wider than shoulder width, shoulder width, slightly wider. Here. Right? Make sure the bar just in front of your chest. Pull. If you're fit enough, you can do the pull up. This is intermediate to advance, grab a pull-up bar, keep a chest high, and pull. I would say in about 20 repetitions, you can use on a tower first, 10 repetitions, and then move on to the parallel bar, another 10 repetitions, or you can sure we just start off with 20 repetitions on a parallel bar, all right? If you're fit enough, just stick to pull-up. Pull-up, I recommend you to do as many reps as possible with good form. Now, for the legs. You don't want to skip legs even if you're in a park, you have different equipment. Stick to the basic. Squat like this, all right? Do 10 repetitions, and after 10 repetitions, 10 jump, right? Do a jump. So there'll be 20 repetitions for one set. Do not forget your arms as well, right? So this is a bonus, right? How to train your arms is you can use back your parallel bar, right? Instead of grabbing this way, you want to grab underhand, and this time you should go shoulder width because you want to keep your bicep. Right? So, underhand. Again, bar forward in front of your chest. Where well, if you're fit enough, you have, you have a very strong arm, you can go underneath the chest. But this is too hard, right? See, this requires a lot of effort, but it's okay for me. Just assume we are on the same page right now. Right? Bar in front of your chest, curl. 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 Right? Curl. So work a little bit of your back muscles. 10 reps is good enough. Now for the triceps, let me go this way, right? Grab close shoulder width. This time we're gonna go overhand. We are not going to pull anything, but we are gonna extend our elbow by stepping backward. This is a very similar to a push-up position. So just lower down yourself. Extend. Right, keep your stomach tight. Suck in your stomach. So what about shoulders? In the beginning of the video, push-up actually trains your shoulder already. However, if you want to give extra stimulations to your front shoulder, you can do the pipe push-up. So to set this up, it's very easy. Get onto the ground, right? Instead of doing push-up, you want to push your hip high up, right? And lead with your head downward. So 10 repetitions of this, this is pretty tough. So abs, you can do crunches on the floor 
or if your park have this, this will be awesome. It really works a lot of your abdominal because you're in a decline position. So set this up, make sure that your feet is solid, right? Makes you feel comfortable, right? Like 90 degrees. From here, you want to place your arms up straight and lead with your abs, right? Up. When you're tired, people tend to use all of their arms, right? You can use this as just a placement and crutch. Right, but let's go for this for now. Eight to 10 repetitions is good enough because in decline position, you give a lot of resistance. And now the last abdominal abs exercise is a hanging leg raise. Okay, this requires balancing and requires some strength in your forearms. So to get this set up, hang yourself and raise your knee, right? Right, you want to bring up the challenge? You can do a leg raise. This is a bad idea to do because this is not, it's not high enough. If you want to do a leg raise, you have to find a higher pull-up bar to execute. Or you can use a deep bar just like this, right? For leg raise, right? Just on a deep position, raise your feet straight. Just really train your abs. And since you're in a deep bar, you can actually do this deep. But do one by one, don't swing. The moment you swing, you see, you lost stability, right? So stabilize yourself first. Raise your leg. Stop. Deep. Stop. Raise. Whoo! You can do it in a circle format. So with a push up and then a roll and then a squat and then some arms, shoulder, abs, repeat, right? This is one round, do two to three rounds. It's good enough, right? So it helps. Keep training and see you in the next video. Peace.